because the, the patient have just a little astigmatism. Okay, you can remove the callisto, please. Okay. This is some um, linizol, a little bubble, some blue. Is it a very hard cataract? No, not at all. Not at all. Why the do you use then the blue dye, please? Because blue dye uh, make capsulorex is easier because you, you have a better vis visualization, but also that's a young patient, and in young patient, uh, bl the blue ink decreases the elasticity of the capsule. So, so it helps you for the capsulorexis. Uh -huh. Interesting. And uh, the patient is have a great myopia. Okay. Um, is it possible to have a little more light in the microscope? Okay. I start it with a, a needle. Very nice round shaped capsulorexis. Okay, make two little paracentesis. So you're working by manual? Yes. Okay. Yes. You like that technique? Oh yes. Why? But Can you explain us? Yeah, but not by manual FECO, just by manual EA. Okay. I think it's easier to remove small small thing just under the other side of the capsule axis. And you are right-handed? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now this is this is a s soft nucleus because the the patient is only um, fifty nine I think so it will be very easy to cleave. So can you explain us what you are doing now? With the Akaoshi pre chop, I I cut the nucleus. Okay, it's, it's easy. Your usual technique too. Yes. Okay. Ninety percent of my case and the too hard FACO, or too hard cataract, of course, it's not possible. But it, a lot of cases, it's very easy. And you don't have to use too much US, and it's quite good for your endothelium. Okay. Faco 3, okay. This is a 2.4 incision. As you see, with that kind of nucleus, with the pre-chop technique,
you can do easily a monomanual FACO because of the stability of the entire chamber and quite no ultrasound. Okay, that's all. Gauthier, what size is your uh, bimanual incisions for uh, irrigation aspiration? It's 1.1, 1 1.2? 1 1 1.1. One, 1 1. Oui, Olivier. <coughs> okay, with multifocal IOL, it's a good thing to remove all the materials on the posterior capsule to brush a little bit. So you do a polishing, is it? Yes. Okay, very nice. Okay. I change to search. And so you're using a AMO FACO. Y you like the this kind of FACO? It's your usual FACO? Yes, it's my usual FACO. Because the stability of the entire chamber is very good. And uh, I think it's a good, a good machine. And in very hard cataract, it seems that it's... Uh, more cold FACO machine, is yes, it? Yes, because yes, it, it's because of the technology of fragmentation, the the ultrasound. The ultration. Okay, Mouille Olivier. Okay. It's a little time consuming to remove everything but it's better because the passion is a high myop and I don't want to make a, a capsulotomy if possible. This is a normal Elon. It's very easy. Usually, you have just with this to put some visco in the cup, in the tip. You plug, and you have to hear the little kick. You remove this one. And you close. As you see, you push a little bit, and you can see the AOL sliding in the cartridge. Okay, perfect. So, so the advantage of this, this tip is with two point four.
terre et dans le sac. No stitch, just EA. Give me the EA. Thank you. We just have to remove the visco. You have a special program to remove the visco yes, mistake? Yes, with a little more aspiration. And it's important to go under the IOL so you're sure everything is removed. And as you okay. Just a small exaltation. Okay, as you can see, with the d those three little lines, the patient is looking just at the right place, so the IOL is just well centered. Okay, and, and that's finished. As you see, the capsular rex is, is perfect. All the optic is covered. And, uh, and the IOL is well centered. And that's finished. Okay, thank you, Gauthier. Very, very nice surgery. Have you any comment on the IOL you're using? Yes, th that's the new trifocal from Carl Zeiss. Uh, I used to to give bifocal to my patient, and since I get this new one, I use only this one. Patients are very happy of their vision, and the uh, intermediate vision is very good. And uh, I don't know really how it's possible, but I have no complaint of halo. The number of halo is well diminished. Uh, I think that it's because the number of ring are uh, decrease comparatively to the, the other version, the bi bifocal. Okay. Thank you.